for Step Rider 5, Wet Bandits Escape, Wet Bandits Escape. Stars jumped at the chance to attend the Los Angeles premiere of the much-anticipated Home Alone 2. Like the movie, the afternoon screening and pre-party was like none other. Um, it's kind of big. Big is right. Not many Hollywood premieres can boast of petting zoo, ornament decoration stations, and free Nintendo games where kids could play, you guessed it, Home Alone. Since the movie has something for everyone, so did the premiere. No, I think it appeals to everybody, you know. I mean, I think it's, it's fun for, for the whole family. And it's great to see films like this. There's not enough of them. I'm just happy to have a movie that you can take kids to. That's the most important thing. It's so rare. The biggest challenge is to make sure that we uh, don't let down all the, the young kids who love the first one so much. With the top two box office slots occupied by the likes of Dracula and Passenger 57, the stars welcome an entertaining kids movie that also packs a message. You think, oh, um, I want to be, I want to be alone, but when you actually are alone, it's not so good, you know. So it's not always like to go with what you think. I think it teaches you know the value of, of the family, you know, that what it, what it all comes down to is the most important thing in your life is your family. And how does it compare to its predecessor? It's funny. The stars and their kids were treated to an early taste of the holidays and a glimpse of the young man responsible for the highest grossing comedy of all time. Can McCauley and company do it again with Home Alone 2? Bet on it. It'll probably take all of Santa's elves to count the money this sequel is sure to make. On the entertainment scene, I'm Lisa Petrillo, Channel 10 Eyewitness News.